Meanwhile, the modest maiden had come up, and now she spoke. I too, noble Heracles, am come to offer you a way of life. I know of what a worthy line you come, that you are descended from Perseus, the Gorgon Slayer, and are yourself the son of Zeus. I know how well you have learnt all the accomplishments necessary for the path, which I trust that you will take in my company. Follow me, and you will do great deeds, and leave a name which will never be forgotten. But you cannot win what is glorious and excellent in the world without care and labour. The gods give no real good, no true happiness to men on earth on any other terms. If you would bring happiness to others and be remembered in Greece, you must strive for the service of Greece, as you well may with your strength and your skill, if you do but use them rightly. As for my companion, who is called Vice and Folly and other such names, do not be misled by her. There is no pleasure and no happiness like those which you earn by strife and labor, and with the sweat of your brow. Do not believe this foolish girl who is called Virtue, interrupted Vice hastily. My way to happiness is short and pleasant. Hers is hard and long, and the end is doubtful. Come, Heracles, said Virtue quietly. Choose which of us you will follow. Her path leads through easy, worthless pleasures that grow stale and horrible, and yet are craved after more and more. But follow me through toil and suffering to the great heritage which Zeus has planned for you. Lady, cried Heracles, I choose your path. Tell me how to set my foot on it, and I will not turn back however hard it prove, and whatever I have to endure on the way. You have chosen worthily, she said in her calm, gentle voice, and for the beginning, look yonder. What is it that disturbs your cat on so? Heracles looked across the valley and saw a great yellow lion leaping down the slope with open jaws towards the cows who fled this way and that, lowing piteously in terror.